Hello everyone, my name is Craftmaster B, and welcome to episode 6 of the Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we ended off at the ancient city and just grabbing some loot. And in between then and now, I've been building a lot of farms, trying to gather up some materials so I can get going towards my end goal of building a giant desert city. I've spent a lot of time just building one-off farms, and it's been... A lot of fun and a big grind but uh, let me go ahead and show you what I've been working on during this break first off I built a wither skeleton farm designed by ENX04 so I can get skulls and beacons I've also built a gold farm by ENX04 and I've also found a mushroom island that I took down to sea level using a TNT bomber designed by Ian X04. I think you're seeing the uh, pattern here. And also built his shulker farm, and then off in the distance you can see a moss farm and a tree farm. Those farms are all great, but I'd like to build something closer to home and kind of combine a couple farms into one big build. So we already have a wheat farm and a pumpkin and melon farm. And I'd like to combine those two builds into one and then also add something a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by tearing out the wheat farm, moving the villagers, and then also just reclaiming a little bit of the land from the storage of the pumpkin and mellow farm. I like to get that set up. I'm going to get everything flattened out and then I'm going to build the foundation so we know exactly what's going on. So here's the area. We've got a storage system, villager, wheat farm, bee farm, pumpkins and melons, a wool farm, and then I'm also going to move the villagers back in so that we can trade some of the stuff, get golden carrots, uh, any of the wool items we want to get. But to do everything, I'm going to need a lot of sand and a lot of sandstone, so let's jump into a time lapse. This desert is just east of the Mushroom Island where I built some of the other farms and that I showed in the video earlier. Uh, I don't want to tear out anything around my base. That way I, I can save some time and I don't have to terraform everything later on. Uh, this is just a good, easy, quick way to do it. And like I said, I don't destroy anything or make it all ugly somewhere close to where I'm going to be a lot. So I'm going to keep digging out some sand, and then I will catch up with you when we get back to the base, and we can start building. See you in a little bit. This should be enough sand and sandstone, so let's head back to base. Alright, so back at the base. I've got a fair amount of items, quite a bit of sand and sandstone. I'm going to go ahead and cook up a lot of the sandstone so I can have smooth. Uh, I'll also use a little bit of the normal sandstone and the cut sandstone blocks in this build. 
I've also already gathered up quite a bit of birch, spruce, dark oak, and copper, and then all the redstone bits that I need for the storage system and sorter. So let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse and get this build going. All right, so I've got the inner workings of the farm all built. Both layers are done. I still got to put bees in the second layer, but essentially the farm is complete. I just need to finish out the exterior, add the sheep in for the wool farm, and finish off the lid. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll get back with you and give you a tour when it's done. All right, so we're back. The farm is completed, and here we have the sheep farm and a little loose wool, so I'll have to figure out why that's happening. I wanted to keep the sheep kind of open, so I didn't want to use glass, so I may have to make some tweaks here and there. But the cool thing is I can just put stuff into this barrel and it'll go right into the sorting system. And I can show you that when we get to the inner workings. But I've got a couple shepherds here all mastered out, one with shears, which is going to be great, so I can keep the wool farm stocked. And then I've got all the storage back here honey honeycomb wheat i've got an extra row for more wheat and then over here i've got the pump melons and pumpkins uh, and then the wool storage um but yeah and then i've got a couple overflow chests just for other items uh, let me see also um We've got the villagers, the farmer villagers here, so I can trade for apples. I make golden apples. I can get golden carrots. These guys are all leveled up. I can get cakes uh, if I need cakes for some reason. 
Um, but let's go check out the interior or the back office, so to speak, of the farm. Uh, had a lot of fun building this. It took me a few days just to come up with the concept in creative and then bring it over to survival. What I really wanted to do is make a farm that was unique and also just look good in the world. And I think I've accomplished that. Uh, so here's the back office, the dispensers for the wool farm. I've got glow lichen to light things up just enough so we don't get spawns back here. And then the water column here brings all the items up to the top and then sends them around the sorting system. So the barrel I showed you earlier goes into that water column. So here we have all the sorting. And then I've got to come up with something for this little area here. I think I'm just going to put in like a fake window, but all the overflow goes into here and I've just got a lever to lock the hopper so it doesn't send everything right away into the composters. What I'd like to do is decorate the area around with some wheat fields and stuff like that. But here we have the uh, chests where I put in shears and bottles for the honey and honeycomb. And then here we have our little villagers. And the great thing about this is a lot of you probably know is when you have bees and they get pollen as they fly across the other crops and that they can pollinate and help grow the crops faster. For some reason this layer is darker than the top. I don't know why. Um, maybe because I forgot to put in some lanterns on the second layer, or excuse me, the first layer. Overall, I'm very happy with how this farm turned out. It works really well. I can gather just about everything I need. The hoppers I thought might slow things down, but it turns out everything's working well. No lag. I'm excited to start using the wheat and mud so I can make some packed mud bricks so I can really start building out around here. Um, outside here, I've got a little area that I'm going to decorate with some of the wheat and stuff, and then also build some docks. Really excited about that. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode. I appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. It really helps out. Thanks again. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.